Bengaluru-based startup Tardid Technologies has unveiled its A5 Meglan unmanned surface vessel. Airbus and Tata have shortlisted eight potential locations in India to establish its final assembly line for H-125 helicopter, and the first made in India chopper will roll out by 2026, and the total demand will reach 500 units over the next two decades. Indian Navy's elite Marcos commandos and US Navy SEALs and special forces of other partner nations conducted a joint exercise during RIMPAC 2024. Russian Foreign Minister has described the enormous pressure on New Delhi due to its energy cooperation with Moscow as completely unjustified, and said that India is a great power that determines its national interests and chooses its partners. The deal for three upgraded Calvary-class submarines will be signed by end of 2024, and the first submarine is expected to be delivered by 2029. Adani Defence and French firm Tarles will soon start local production of FZ-275 laser-guided rocket, and the FZ-90 unguided folding fin aircraft rocket. According to latest media reports, the Indian Air Force will deploy its first Tejas Mark 1A squadron at Rajasthan's Nala Air Force Station by end of 2024, placing it strategically close to the Pakistan border. The initial plan involved upgrading the existing two Mark 1 squadrons to Mark 1A standard, but it might not be carried out anymore, especially after the decision to procure an additional 97 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. The Air Force is now planning to transition older Mark I aircraft to the Air Force's Tactics and Air Combat Development Establishment, which trains the top 1% of Indian Air Force fighter pilots in aerial combat. A team from US engine manufacturer General Electric will arrive in India by early 2025, to oversee the integration of the F-414 engine on Tejas Mark II fighter jet. General Electric team will provide essential supervision to ensure proper engine integration, and grant HAL engineers the necessary original equipment manufacturer clearances, which will ensure that the Tejas Mark II aircraft meets all performance and safety standards. The Defence Ministry has finalised the draft note for the approval of Cabinet Committee on Security for the upgrade of the first lot of 84 Su-30 fighter jets at an overall cost of 63,000 crores, and the upgraded Super Shukhoi's will be close to fifth-generation fighters in terms of capabilities except for stealth. It will take seven years for development work and flight testing, which will then be followed by the progressive upgrade and induction in batches. The DRDO is developing a cutting-edge powerful laser-directed energy weapon for Hardkill, that will feature artificial intelligence and machine learning. Apart from targeting enemy drones, it will also protect against modern aerial threats like precision-guided munitions. The system will also have increased resistance to saturation attacks, a tactic where adversaries overwhelm air defenses with numerous drones. The DRDO is working on the Namico Mark II variant, that will be equipped with the new Nag Mark II anti-tank guided missiles. It features a newly developed twin missile launcher modules replacing the single launcher of the Namico Mark I, that will double the firepower of the Mark II system. It will also feature advanced fire control system and sighting system, that will significantly improve the targeting precision and overall effectiveness of the weapon system. Today's top 3 comments, 